The temporary memorial honoring the nine people who died in front of Ned Peppers could soon be moved. But Mayor Nan Whaley is joining others who say that memorial should stay in place until all the victims are buried. Two News reporter Ethan Fitzgerald live there now with more on that disagreement. Yeah, Adam and Brooke, there was a little bit of back and forth today between people that are kind of taking care of this memorial and the bars here. But Mayor Nan Whaley did visit the memorial today and assured people here that it will stay for now. So clearly this is a touchy subject. Ned Peppers and Hole in the Wall trying to run a business and find some sense of normal. But again, there's countless people that are coming down to the Oregon District today to come to this exact spot to pay their respects and reflect. And I don't want it moved. It's disrespectful. Annette Gibson Strong is the unofficial caretaker of the memorial. She's been protecting the site every night since and unpacking the tarps every morning. Friday, she was approached by Ned Pepper's management and it did not go well. He told me the city said that it had to be moved. That's actually not true. A city of Dayton spokeswoman says the city gave no such order. The decision to move the flowers, the crosses, and pictures will be up to Ned Pepper's. What gives them the right to move them out before they're even buried and they died saving some of them down here? Gibson Strong says she intends to clean up the memorial when it's time to pack up. She also wants to offer what's here to the families who were struck by the unimaginable. To come to the Oregon and stand for their memorial, stand for against this because they have not been buried. Again, if you're just joining us, the memorial here at Oregon, uh, in the Oregon District next to Ned Peppers will stay up. There's a ton of people down here right now paying their respects. Mayor Nan Whaley says the city is already working on a permanent memorial. As soon as we get information on that, we'll update you on air online, WDTN.com. Reporting live in the Oregon District, I'm Ethan Fitzgerald. Two News, working for you.